and welcome back everybody to my MO Sun Productions. Today we are here with you with our drills in the sky. I um I'm gonna actually take care of this. The first first thing I wanna know is what the hell were those things I fought at the end of last episode? I wasn't it. I don't think I wasn't it. I have no information on it, apparently. Hum. Really the still a minuscule amount of EP. Okay. Shining palm. Nothing, no information about him. These guys. So, don't have really much about their stats. No, they got 200 health. Monster lurking in, in treasure chest, it explodes when defeated. So, kill it from afar. Would have been useful to know, no, forever ago. So I could get ah, yeah. I need to go up and go to a different door. Mm -mm -mm. I really just need to run from this fight. Fuck him. I'm not gonna make it if I stay. Yes. Yeah. Of course, I don't get the first turn either. Don't hit it still. I need to get away from monsters. This is the fifth floor I'm supposed to go to. Mm. I've been getting my butt beat, though. Also makes me wonder about, um... How the top of this place is gonna go. the sky. Yep, here's the roof. There's a machine up here. Well, it's, it's right out here. Looks like we finally made it to the rooftop. Oh, you look at the beautiful scenery. Now, this is something else. It looks like we'll be able to get a better shot than I thought originally anticipated. I'm not even sure I read that right. And that's, and that's the thing I was telling you about earlier. Wonder what's, what, what that's supposed to be exactly. Well, it looks like a giant ornament oriented cauldron, if you ask me. According to my sources, it's a sort of ancient device. Although nobody seems to know what exactly it's used for. Hmm? I was gonna get more explanation. Hey Josh, did you did you know something like this was up here? Josh? Hey, it's not no use hiding. I think it would be wise to come out where we can see it. Would be wise to come out where Huh? Please don't hurt me. I'll come out already. I'll come out already now. It was this guy. Somebody arrived before we did, huh? I was surprised that what that was nice find, Josh. And you are. I apologize. Please forgive me. 
I give you every last mirror I have. Please spare my life. Look here, buddy. Please don't mistake us for robbers or something. You do recognize the emblem, don't you? Is that a bracer skilled emblem? So you're telling me that you're a bracer in the flesh. I'm a cell and this is Josh. We, we're here as reporters from the Liberal News. We have these to provide our escort so we can so we can get coverage on the tower. I'm relieved to hear that. Please just don't ever scare me like that again. Okay? Didn't mean to, damn. The fact that you came up here like that made me suspicious of you at all. Look who's talking. You seem like quite the suspicious fellow yourself. Do you mind telling us who you are exactly? I apologize for my late introduction. My name is Al Alba. Sure. Professor Alba, why not? And I am an archaeologist. I came to investigate the tower in order to further my research of ancient civilizations. All alone, I'm surprised you made it here in one piece. Ah ha ha. Somewhat, but... Actually, I've grown accustomed to investigating ruins like these. You see, I've got a lot of confidence in my ability to flee from monsters if need be. I don't know this time I found myself in a bit of a pickle. You are one crazy scholar, if you ask me. However, being an archaeologist would mean you're familiar with the tower's origins, right? Well, more than the average person, anyway. But since I have on only just begun my investigation, there's still a lot of things I don't know myself. That's fine, but is there anything interesting you could tell us about this place? It will be used for my article. Let's see. Has anyone ever heard of Septerison? Sept Septer... Time, time, whatever. Before. I think Father... Divine maybe said something about that before. You mean the seven treasures endowed with power and bestowed upon the ancients by Ad Adios, Ad Adios, right? That's exactly what I'm referring to. It seems these ancients ruled the earth, seas, and skies using the powers of these treasures. It has also been written that they were even able to unlock the secrets unlock the secrets of time and life. Actually, 12,000 years ago, sorry, 1,200 years ago, when this ancient civilization was destroyed by a mysterious calamity, these turns were also lost. As the legend also recorded in the Scriptures of the Sempton Church. But what does it have to do with this tower? Our legend states that one of these Se Septerans slumbers somewhere within Liberal. His name is Ariel. Ariel, that, that word certainly has a strange ring to it. If the legends are really true, I figured I might be able to find some clues here at the tower since it's one of the oldest ruins in all of Liberal. So I came out to investigate. Oh, what an inspiring story. <coughs> it is, isn't it? You can feel my passion for things of antiquity, right? This is splendid. I am overjoyed that there is someone who... Someone else who understands my understands the way I feel. So do you, so did you find any of these clues you were looking for? I'm still working on that. Ah. Uh, uh, been going on over an hour now, total. Not this episode, I'm talking about just this whole session. If I can figure out how this device works, I might be on to something. I think it's, it's an interesting story, but as it stands, it's a speculative one. From what I've, from what you've told me, um, sorry to say, uh, I wouldn't fly as an article. It wouldn't fly as an article. I see. It's extremely disappointing to hear. 
and surprised at myself. Contrary to my expressions, you are serious about the articles you write. Ugh. Okay. Um, gospel column. Okay. If they have flying ships, why don't they just fly to the top of this place? Like, seriously, they could have. So easily. Mr. Archaeologist, I love how I love how he just does that. Why? Why? Does this mean I get to recover health and EP? Wow, the view is great from here. In this hut, I can see all of Roland. Considering this good, if someone turned this place into a tour spot, they'd probably make a boatload of Mira. You're probably right about that. What's wrong? You look a little pale. Can't hide anymore from you, can I? After we stepped onto the roof, I just started feeling a little woozy. Are you going to be okay? Yeah, I think I'll I'll be all right once I get a bit of fresh air. Why don't you make the best of this opportunity and have a look around yourself? What? Gardening one's knowledge during a time like this is all a part of being a bracer. If you come across anything of interest, then you can tell me about it later, alright? Sometimes you can be such a smooth talker. Alright, uh, I'll have a look around. But if I start find, finding anything worse, you start feeling, it, start feeling any worse, let me know, okay? Mr. Archaeologist, what are you going to say? Oh, well, at least now we know that she her by my age at, at least oh well exactly 16. Huh. okay born in the north Okay.
Taste of a cigarette. I've never, never thought about taste of a cigarette before as something wonderful in any way. I mean, I don't smoke. I'm not a smoker. Um, I have no need for it. Got good old Dr. Pepper for that. So, I know it's just a different kind of addiction and it could be seen as even a worse addiction. Right, so, what, what do I have to do here? Something about airships. I wonder if I wonder if she just asked the same question. I missed it because I was I was just going through it so quick. Lead the way. Okay. I actually have to take them back. Good. Just takes me back to town. Thank you. I really thought I was going to run into something at the top as well. Means I probably could have saved some of my resources. Let's see what happens. Let me go back to the guild now. And pour it in. Why do I not gain a bracer point? <laughs> okay. Thank you. 
Huh? Tom's gone? I guess I got to go investigate a robbery. Maybe I'm not. Okay. Oh, well, guess I am going. They knew what they were looking for. Okay. That would only work after so many button pushes, though. Or up to so many button pushes, because the powder would coat his fingers where no more could be picked. My same concern. The more buttons he pushed, the less it would pick up. <laughs> I 
Oh, I think he's just done it before. gonna leave this episode here at um 26 minutes so until then i hope everybody has enjoyed this and we will see you all in the next episode bye